Hi there, Destiny from Suburban Wife City Life. And today I'm talking to you about the Cricut Easy Press right here. This is perfect if you do a lot of iron on things and I'm gonna show you exactly how it works and just how easy it is to use. Okay, so we've got our Cricut Easy Press and in our packet we get this quick reference chart which is gonna tell you exactly what temperatures and how long you need to set your press for. So I've got a cotton poly shirt and I'm gonna be starting off using glitter iron on transfer vinyl. So all I need to do is hit my power button here and then I want to make my temperature for 320 degrees so I just hit the plus button and I'm gonna take that up to or temp 320 and we're gonna get it up there 320 okay so we'll let it blink a couple times and then we know for the timer wise we're gonna want it to be 15 seconds so I'm gonna hit timer and then I'm gonna hit the down button because we only want 15 seconds for that. Okay, great. So while that's warming up, I wanna talk a little more about the shirt. So I have cut out my design and I still have to weed this, so I wanted to show you. So weeding, uh, I have a weeding tool, but this one was a pretty easy one since it was just up. And if you hear that beep, that means that it's set, it's ready to go and the temperature is good. So we're just gonna weed our L and get it all set up. So then it's just getting your, your design exactly how you want it laid out. I also have some foil, so I'll be showing you the foil as well. Now, I like to be very careful and I like to make sure that when I do this, I don't have any excess, or I don't have a lot of excess, I should say. So I'm gonna do some trimming of the excess after it's been weeded because I have accidentally a few times put these down on top of other things and then it attaches to that and not my shirt, which is never fun. So a good reference for when you're doing this is you wanna look at where the arm armpits are and then this way you can kind of gauge where this needs to be placed. So I'm thinking this looks pretty good and pretty straight. So for the time being, I am going to take off my foil because I don't need to attach it. Let's just do a quick little measure. Does that look even? Okay, so here we go. So I'm gonna press it down. Now all I have to do is pick up my Cricut Easy Press and place it down and then hit this green button and hold it down. It's gonna count down for me my 15 seconds. I do add a little bit of pressure to it just to make sure it really presses and seals. Great, and I'm gonna come over here to this one. I do love the carrying or the case that it has because then I don't have to worry about my table. So it just lays directly in there. I also don't have to worry about if my kids are crafting with me. Makes it really nice. So now we have to make a change because the next thing we're gonna be doing is the foil, which the foil is so pretty. I love it. Um, so for the foil, we need to do 285. So we're gonna decrease the temp. And it is best to do the foil last because you definitely don't want the foil to get overdone. And we're gonna to have to increase our timer to 30 seconds. Okay, so while that's warming up, we're gonna check out our letters and boom, it peels right off. Easy peasy. I love that. And then we're gonna go ahead and get these in place. So. And 
I do a lot of Disney shirts because, well, we just love Disney and it's a lot of fun. So purchasing that Disney, um, the Disney cartridges has been huge. I love them. Okay, so uh, we've now gotten down to 285 for 30 seconds, so we're gonna go ahead and put the foil on. Now it's really important that with the foil, uh, once you peel this back, that you don't let the easy press or the iron touch it again. So you just have to be careful. That's why I recommend doing the foil last if you're doing multiple things. So we're gonna go ahead and because the easy press covers so much, we can do both at the same time. So we're gonna put it down, hit our little green button, and let it count down our 30 seconds. And remember, you just want to add a little bit of pressure to it. But I mean, for the most part, it's awesome because it's so simple. I don't have to worry about uneven heating, it just gets the job done. And I just use a small little uh, ironing board, but I know you can also, if you really wanted to, put it a towel underneath of this. Oh, and we're done, and I love it. Great, so I just put it back in its dock. I'm gonna let this cool for a couple of seconds before I peel it back. Because it is hot. The um, Cricut Easy Press also, if it's been plugged in for too long and on for too long, you will hear a beep and it will automatically turn off if you don't come back and hit the, the flashing C or the power button. So I like that it has that safety feature to it as well. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna peel back the foil and it is always best to just do it slowly, holding down the shirt. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. The foil is so pretty. So there we go. That, my friends, is how you use the Cricut Easy Press. So have some fun, make some shirts, make some pillows, make whatever you want. And if you like this video, don't forget, give some likes and subscribe and have a great day.